Well, God bless you. God bless you. Welcome back to our Wednesday night Bible study. We are Saints Home Church of God in Christ. We're located at 833 East 21st Avenue, Gary, Indiana. Of course, I'm Pastor Marcus Hammonds. Hi, God bless you. Welcome back. Hi, I'm First Lady Alexis Hammonds. So good to see that you have joined us. Yes, yes. Continue to join us. I'm sure you will be satisfied. Amen. We're looking to have an exciting Bible study here on this evening. We're going to be getting into the Word of God. I want you to get your Bibles out. We're going to 2 Peter, the first chapter. Yes. Today we'll be looking at verses 15 through 18. Right. Amen. So get your Bibles out. We're going to have a word of prayer. Yes. And then we're going to be ready to get into the Word of God. Remember, come and join us on Sunday mornings. Amen. Amen. Come on and be our special guest. I'm mm -hmm. sure you will enjoy yourself. I mean, we, we let the Lord have his way. We're just so excited to, to be in the yes. presence of the Lord and how yes. we can commune and fellowship with one another. Won't you please join us? I think you would be very, very happy you made that decision. Amen. Every Sunday at 11 a.m., yes. 11 a.m., come and be a part of a good fellowship service. Amen. All right, First Lady, would you lead us in a word of prayer? Sure. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for this day. Thank you, we Jesus. We know this is the day that you have made, and yes. we will rejoice and be glad thank in you, it. Lord Jesus. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, mm. and let us exalt His your name, name together. together. Oh, God, we ask you, Lord, as we go through the Bible, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord We Jesus. ask, Lord, to word our mouth, Lord Jesus. Do it, Lord. Let it be able to resonate with someone out there, Lord Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us be able to heal, deliver, and encourage someone on the day. Yes, Lord. Lord. And say, Lord, most of all, salvation is so important. Yes. Turn their life around, Lord Turn Jesus. Lord say, Jesus. what must I do to be saved? Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God. Thank God. Amen and amen. 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 All right, stay right there. We're going to be right back to jump into this lesson. All right, God bless you. We're ready to get into the word of the Lord. And we, again, we're in 2 Peter chapter 1. We're going to start in verse 15. Let us hear what the word of the Lord has to say to us on today. All right. Amen. <clears throat> Moreover, I will endeavor that you may be able, after my decease, to have these things always mm. in remembrance. Amen. All right. This is Peter speaking. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, here in uh, Second Peter. Verse 15. Right. And so I want to title this lesson, The Power of Scripture. Yes. As I listen to what Peter is saying, I want to talk about the power of Scripture, scripture the power of the Word of God. It's powerful. Yes. Amen. Here Peter says, first lady, after my decease, mm -hmm. after my decease. And so when I read this, I immediately thought about my dad who passed on the November 8th mm -hmm. of last month. Uh -huh. So last month, lesson was one month in which he had passed. So it's been one month and one week yes. since the passing of my father. Mm -hmm. and so I immediately thought about this and uh, my, my dad didn't die, all right, mm -hmm. as the world understands death. Yes, hallelujah. Mm. Mm -hmm. He simply moved from this home yes. to his new home. Yes. Amen. Amen. See, we're going to be discussing a lot in this text how deceased means exodus, mm -hmm. to move. Amen. Amen. All right. And so I, I thought about, First Lady, mm -hmm. and you've been, you roll with me oftentimes when we have passed oh, yeah. by, mm -hmm. we drove by my, my old home. Yes. Amen. Where I used to live, where mm -hmm. I grew up. And I realized that when I drive by there, I have no desire to move backwards. Wow. Amen. I have no desire to go back into my old home. All right. Even though the new tenants there, they're doing a fine job with the home. The home looks fine. It's wonderful. It's well kept up. But I have no desire to move back into my old home. All right. See, I moved into a new home. Okay. Amen. And so when Peter says, I'm putting off this old tabernacle, mm -hmm. what he's saying, he's saying, I'm putting off this old garment. All right. 
And so again, I think about my dad. We worked in, in a clothing store for together for over 30 years. Mm -hmm. And we would, would have the, the garments in the store and we we'd tell them to take off that jacket, okay. take off that coat, and we want to put a new coat on you. Okay. Amen. Mm -hmm. You may already have a black suit, but I wanted you to try this suit on, this new garment. You try it on, say, oh, you know, this fits nice. I like that. I like the fabric. I, I like the cut. I like the buttons. And you know, and you have no desire to go back to the old garment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Woo. Yes. He said, I'm putting off this old garment because I'm making my exodus. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what Peter is saying. So here in the text, we are, again, we understand that decease means exodus. All right. All right. Exodus implies death doesn't end it all. Amen. All right. Death as a figure of speech, hear me now, mm -hmm. is the first leg of the journey mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. into the promised land. Yes. Now, if you remember the children of Israel, they made their decease, or if you will, their exodus from out of Egypt into the wilderness before entry into the promised land. Mm -hmm. Got it? Mm -hmm. mm. So salvation, I want, you, I want you to get this. Now, please go back and, and review the words that we're saying because then you're going to be able to really get it down in your spirit and understand it. Mm -hmm. Amen? Salvation says, I'm dying to the old man. Yes. Because the Bible said, therefore, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. Yes. Right? Yes. All things are what? Pass away. Amen. And behold, all things become new. Yes. Amen. 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 And so I'm now ready, because I'm the new, I'm ready, now ready to move into my wilderness experience. All right. Mm. It's my wilderness ex experience because we know no cross, no crown. That's right. Yes. It's my wilderness experience that prepares me to move into my new home mm -hmm. over in glory. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. You see the process here? Yes. Process. And so here in the text, Peter is pointing out the validity of God's word. Mm -hmm. mm. It was told through the word of God how Peter would die. Mm hmm. Mm. And that he and, and he did die, right? But because we see that the word is so true, because he was able, the word told us how he would die, and, and that's how it happened. But yet he was all about encouraging others, right? Yes, motivating others. Mm -hmm. Remember the words that I have given you. Mm -hmm. It's important for me even now to remember the words that my father have given me, the life he led, the example. He led, yes. even as we live now, that I may encourage and inspire somebody else. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Wow. Amen. Wow. This is a this is a good lesson. Amen. This is a good lesson. All right. Stay right there. And first lady and I are going to be right back and we're going to get into verse 16 and go a little bit further in this lesson. All right. Stay right there. Welcome back. All right, we're back now. We're going to pick it up in um, 2 Peter 1 and 16. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read that for you. And then after that, a pastor, he will break it down and we'll explain uh, what God has given us. Amen. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables. When we made known unto you the power of coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Amen. Thank yes. God, First Lady. Thank God for the reading of the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. We're talking about the power of scriptures, the power of the word of God. God's word is true. Yes, it is. And there's power in this word. Yes. So Peter says here, Apostle Peter says here, the Bible is not cunning, devised fables. Right. That's right. It's not. In other words, the Bible is not a pack of lies. No. 
The Bible is not a collection of lies. Right. Amen. Amen. The Bible, Peter's letting us know, is not fairy tale or a myth. That's good. Amen. 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 But the Bible is historical. Yes, it is. And history is critical. Amen. Amen. History teaches us a lot. Amen. It Matter of fact, if we don't learn from history, we're doomed to repeat the same mistakes. Amen. Yes. Yes. History is able to prove a lot of points. Mm -hmm. Amen. So the Bible is historical and it is factual. It's Amen. true. It's true. Yes, man. Amen. Amen. So the Bible says this. Second Chronicles 7 and 14. And let's not overthink this. He mm -hmm. said, if my people, yes. which are called by my name, would humble themselves and what? Pray. Pray. Yes. Seek my face. Whenever, what, what, what's, what's, the, what's the struggle there? It, it, seeking God. Seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Yes. All right. So then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sins and heal their land. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Let's not overcomplicate that. Mm -mm. It's not mm. complicated. And it's so important, as you say, you know, we, we read the Bible mm -hmm. and we live by the word of God. And mm -hmm. I know we don't want to live a bunch of untrue things. That's right. You know, we want to be right. able to read it and practice what we read and mm -hmm. uh, live by what the word of God says. Yes. That is our mission. We're not fake people. You know, I don't want you to look at me like you're fake or you're not telling the truth mm -hmm. like that. You know, I know in my heart, in our heart, that we mm -hmm. believe God and we believe what the word of God says. Yes, yes. We believe yes. the word of God. Yes. We believe what we read. We believe mm -hmm. what we share with you. Amen. Amen. Yes. But here's the, here's, the, here's, the, here's, the, here's the other side of it. Mm -hmm. If you refuse yeah. to turn, from your wicked ways. Oh yes. Then you will remain mentally and visually blind to the power of scripture. Amen. That's true. So true. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Ooh. Amen. Peter says we were witnesses of his majesty. Mm -hmm. Here Peter is referring to the transfiguration. All right. So first of all, I want you to read this. Let's go to Matthew 17. <laughs> Get your Bibles out, Matthew 17, uh, verses 1 and 2. Let's read here about the transfiguration. It says, And after six days, mm -hmm. Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John his brother, mm -hmm. and bringeth them up unto a high mountain apart. Yes. Verse 17 and 2. And was transfigured before them. Mm -hmm. And his face did shine as the sun, and his remnant was white as the light. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. This is talking about the transfiguration of Jesus Christ on the, the high mount. This is what Peter is referring to. He was there. Yes. With James and John. Mm -hmm. All right. Now stay right there because I want to I want to get right into verse 18, verse right. 17 and 18. Okay. All right. So stay right there. Let's get a little. Let's go a little bit further into this lesson. Don't you go anywhere. All right. God bless you. Gonna bless you. Be right back. All right, we're back. We're ready to actually could get ready to con into the conclusion of this lesson on um, this evening. We're looking at verses 17 and 18. Again, I'm Pastor Marcus Hammonds. This is my wife, First Lady Alexis Hammond. Always come and join us every Sunday morning yes. at 11 a.m. Come and worship and praise God with us. We believe in allowing God just to have his way. Amen. Amen. All right, let's get into this lesson, uh, 2 Peter. We're in 2 Peter, the first chapter, verses 17 and 18. All right, verse 17. Mm -hmm. For he received from God the Father honor mm -hmm. and glory when there came such a voice to him mm -hmm. from the excellent glory. Mm -hmm. This is my beloved Son and whom I am well pleased. Amen. Verse 18. And this voice, which came from heaven, we heard mm -hmm. when we were with him in the holy mount. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Again, Peter is referring to the time of the transfiguration when it was mm -hmm. on the high mount with Jesus. So let's look a little bit further yes. at this. 
Amen. Amen. Here again, we're seeing the power of Scripture. Amen. Scripture is true. When you know how true Scripture is, you know, understand how powerful it is. Yes. All right. Amen. So as we reflect on the transfiguration that we read here, just in just you just read right in Matthew mm -hmm. 17, 1 and 2. All right. Uh, my mind re again reflects back on my father. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. transitioning from this world into the arms of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Mm. Yes. So let us examine the significance of the transfiguration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The transfiguration of Jesus, you could say, was it's almost like a snapshot of the kingdom of God. Wow. Mm. wow. Here we have mm -hmm. Moses mm -hmm. and Elijah appearing on this high mount with Jesus. Wow. Yes. Now in this, I, I see I see the number three, but I'm not going to get into that. You're going to come to church. You're going to come to church on a Sunday morning and get into that with us, all right? All right. Uh, here we have Elijah and Moses on this high mount with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Moses represented the law of the Old Testament. Yes. Elijah represented the prophets of the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. All right? So, here we are, they are the three on this high mount. What are they discussing on the, this high mount? Mm. Well, we believe they may be discussing and discussing Jesus' decease, his exodus, right? Uh -huh. Decease meaning exodus. Okay. They were discussing perhaps Jesus' death and resurrection. All right. His decease, his exodus means passing from this world, Jesus, Jesus passing from this world into the presence of his father. Yes, yes. Are you getting this? Mm -hmm. I'll try not to go too fast. Now understanding this is what the Old Testament prophets had written about, what writing had written about in the Old Testament. Mm. Yes. So now on this high mountain, we have these three disciples observing Elijah, Moses, Elijah, and Jesus. Oh, wow. Mm. What a trinity. <laughs> yes. All right. Now, the three disciples that, were, yes. uh, that are observing represented the living saints. Mm -hmm. Moses and Elijah represented the dead saints. Wow. You know, like my mother. Yes. My father, yes. your mother and your father, who's going on to be with the Lord, yes. Amen. represented the saints. Yes. Right? Yes. All right. So Peter, James, and John will constitute the beginning of the body of believers. All right. Which is the church. Of course, now at that time, the church has not been formed, have been formed, but everything has a beginning. Mm -hmm. So again, here's just a snapshot of the kingdom. Now, now let's, let's go a little bit further with this. Mm -hmm. Immediately after the transfiguration, watch this. Jesus and the disciples came down from the high mount. And this wow. is one reason I always feel like heaven is above. Yeah. Because we read so many things in the Bible. We talk about where we have to look up to Jesus. And he said, here was Jesus on the, the high mount. Yeah. And then they came down. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. And so. Uh, and I look and, at it like, mm -hmm. this is just me. Mm -hmm. How I look like up is glory to me. Yes. I just see glory when I think about up. Yes. I do. And Jesus said, yes. and, I, if, and, I, and if I be lifted, what? Up. Yeah. 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 Yes. I mean, some people, you know, we can get very technical about it. Say yeah. some heaven may be straight across. Yeah. It may be to the right. It may be to the left. Uh, but you know, I just, you know, I don't want to get too, I don't want to get too deep. I just want to enjoy the word of God. Exactly. <laughs> and so, all right, let's go back to this transfiguration. Mm -hmm. So, uh, they came down from the mount, Jesus and the three disciples. Mm -hmm. All right. And, and, were, and were immediately confronted by this father who had a demon-possessed son. Wow. Now watch this. Mm -hmm. This is a true and accurate picture of today. Yes. For here today, today we have Jesus mm -hmm. who is sitting on the right hand of the father. Yes. Amen? Uh-huh. <sighs> All, all the Old and New Testament saints 
who have gone before are with him, mm -hmm. with Jesus, right? Yes. Now, while down here on earth, mm -hmm. down here, we're living in a demon-possessed society. Amen? You see how true and accurate the picture is? Yes. Mm. Wow. Uh, and, and we know we live in a, in a demon-possessed society because anytime a person can say, I'm going to take a gun and I'm going to take the law into my own hands. All right? Now, they may have been thinking the right thought. They may have had the right thought in their mind, but to take a gun and, and to take the law into your own hands and to kill somebody and then to be found not guilty on all counts. Ah, this is a troubling season. Yes. It's a troubling season. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're not to take the law into our own hands. Even if we're right, we're not to take the law into our own hands. Jesus never put himself above the law. Woo. All right. And so here we are living in this demon possessed society. And when they came down, uh, the disciples couldn't do nothing with this demonic person. Mm. So we got to be sure we about our father's yes. business. And yes. I'm preaching to myself. Amen. Amen. That's right. We got to be sure we about our father's business. So we're going to be like the disciples and not have the power and authority to the speak to the demon. Amen. Say that. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be living here talking about hallelujah, hallelujah, and not have the power and authority to speak to these demonic spirits and say, loose. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke yes. you. Yes. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes. yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. This here it is. We see the power. Scripture is powerful and accurate. Amen. The power of Scripture. Amen. The power of Scripture. The power of the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Let's grab hold of the Word of God and don't let go. Amen. Amen. Let's walk in this power and authority that God has given us to walk in and hold our head up high and rebuke every demonic spirit that will try to come into our lives. Amen. Amen. God bless you on the day. God bless, God you. bless you. Well, first lady, this brings us to the end of this lesson. All right. And we thank God for this lesson. We're going to be excited. Don't, don't forget to join us on Sunday. Amen. Yes. Tell us about it. Tell us about first lady. Join us. Sunday with St. Psalm Church of God in Christ. Mm -hmm. We're located at 833 East 21st Avenue and that's in Gary, Indiana. Yes. Our services start at 11 a.m. and we mm. will be glad to see you there. Be our special guest. Please, please. I'm sure yes. you will be satisfied. You will be blessed. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, thank God. Yes. God bless you. God bless uh, don't forget to join us on, on uh, don't forget to like. Yes. Ooh, I, forgot, I almost forgot to tell you. I, Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Amen. amen. That we may continue to push the ministry forward. We want to push yes. this ministry forward. Someone need to hear this word. More need to hear the word. Thank God for all you who have subscribed and are continue to subscribe. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Amen. Continue to be a blessing to the ministry through your, your watching, your viewing, and your subscribing. God bless you. Amen. Amen. All right. First, are you going to give us our closing prayer on this evening? Yes, I should. Can. All right. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for yes, the word Lord of God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Oh, Lord. God, we ask you, Lord Jesus, continue to bless us, Lord Jesus. Bless Lord the word, Jesus. Lord Jesus. We know that the word is so powerful, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord we Jesus. We ask, Lord Jesus, that it rests on someone's heart today, yes. Lord Jesus. Yes. And let them be a changed person, Lord, by the word of God. Yes, These Lord Jesus. These blessings we pray in your great name. Your Thank name. God. Thank God. Amen and amen. Amen. God, God bless, bless you. you.